welcome back to my channel and today is a highly requested video this is my apartment tour I know you guys have been asking this for a long time but you know how it is when you move into a house you have all these hopes and dreams of like decorating it and then you kind of live out of a cardboard box for the first three months and now one and a half years after I moved in I think I've finally gotten it to a point where I am like proud to show you guys I've honestly just thrown out a dining table I was using as a chair I was sitting on my old dining table this is after I unpacked as well because I just came back from my great big America trip where I kind of did like a road trip around the west coast and my gosh it's so beautiful and if you guys want to see some pretty pictures please go to my Instagram of course I couldn't help myself but go shopping because you guys have like the best stores so if you guys want to see an American or a great American haul please give this video a thumbs up and if I get to like 6,000 thumbs up I'll take that as a yes you want to see a haul yeah, I, I haven't checked my credit card. I don't I don't want to know. I'm gonna take you on a tour of my house and do this funny little dance. All right, let's just go. So welcome guys to my little cozy apartment. Hi Mickey, what are you doing? He always greets me at the door. This is what you can see when you first come in. My kitchen's on the left and then straight forward is my living room and the sunroom. And on the right is the laundry behind those doors as well as my shoe rack. And this is the view from the other side. You can see my fridge and my stove. It's kind of just an open kitchen, so it just joins directly to the living room. So much storage in this kitchen, which makes it really awesome, even though the place is small. In the living room, I have this double ladder shelf, which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite pieces and I have all my favorite things on it. I think it's just a really cool way to display your stuff and add a bit more storage. Favorite candle, flowers, and a really cute pony bag, which I absolutely love but haven't actually used. My shoes from Christian Louboutin, my Chanel bag, and some rings in these really cute hexagonal things that I got from West Elm. And on the top, I have all my candles, my favorite teapot set, and also just the jar from Kmart, which has a little deer on it. And I have some succulents in jars. I absolutely love this Santorini perfume oil. I will show you in my haul and these candles. Some of my favorite things that I just wanted to display. Now this is the living room area with my couch and coffee table. And this couch is from Ikea and it's just got some colorful cushions with Miggy in it that I got from my last renovation on the living room. And I'll link my last apartment tour down below. And then moving down, this is a secondhand coffee table that I got that we repainted white and it's got this really cute vase on it with some fake flowers and this candle I absolutely love that I got from America. And then moving on to my sunroom area, this is kind of where all the magic happens. Really, I spend a lot of time in my sunroom because it's so bright and obviously I have a TV with the entertainment unit that's just a simple one from Ikea as well. Well, I just love the windows that I have in my apartment because it reaches all the way up. This is my workspace slash study space. Got a bit of storage on the side and these are all from Ikea and it's got some of my things. I've got my YouTube button there that I absolutely love and some potted plants and a succulent. The plants are fake because I don't have a green thumb. <laughs> and yeah, this is my PC where I do a lot of my work. Now, this is also some storage baskets that I got that I keep bits and pieces and documents. And this is sort of my favorite piece in the sunroom. I got this table secondhand from a cafe and it's the perfect height because it allows me to see outside the window and I've got these really cute pot plants as well with a pot plant holder from Ikea and a little cushion for me to sit there on the floor if I wanted to. I've got some succulents and pot plants and candles on the table we call the big one boomba <laughs> and then i have these black stools that are adjustable in height which is really useful and they just look like cafe stools i just really wanted my sunroom to look like a cafe so i put all these little plants and bits and pieces on the windowsill to make it less empty and of course my favorite dream catcher from bali 
Now I want to show you the bathroom. It's really simple. It's just a shower stall, a small sink and a toilet. It doesn't have much storage at all. This is a really cute soap dispenser I got from Korea. And I have poopery here for guests as well. You really don't smell after you do a number two. Seriously, it works. <laughs> and now from the sunroom, there's an entrance to the bedroom as well. And this is kind of what it looks like. And then when you come in, there's like a chair around the corner. This is my favorite chair. I got it secondhand off eBay. And it just adds an element of royalness and princessness into the room. I super love French furniture. So this is one of my little favorites and I'm so glad I got it. The rest of the bedroom, I have my dressing table and I have a dressing table tour down below linked as well and my bed. This is also my clothes cupboard. It's pretty small. I've gotten all the space. My boyfriend uses the storage cupboard out in the hall. I absolutely love the theme of my bedroom right now. I just changed it and I got these really cute cushions. It's got a metallic silver one and some gold. And I also matched it with this cute pink throw. And on my other bedside table, I have this really cute copper vase that I absolutely love. And also have a basket to keep my skincare stuff that I use regularly. Fairy lights make a huge difference at night. I love it. It's just a great way to light up your room without using lampshades and stuff. So if you guys want to replace your lampshade with something like this, you can put some fairy lights in a jar as well. It's a really good idea. You guys should try it. So yeah, that's it. So for those of you guys that are wondering, my house is literally like 58 square meters big. It's not huge. If you stop hoarding, which I'm trying to do, you will be able to fit everything into your house. So for those of you guys that live in like a small place, I'd love to hear your tips on how you kind of make the most of your space. Don't forget, I miss you guys so much and I love, love, love you. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!